deal. We went back and came back, and it had stood up and walked into the woods. One by one, they took to the mic, saying they've seen what looked like Bigfoot. That's when I saw something walking on the tracks. I look over and I see a big black mass, and I went, is that a bear? But Mark DeWorth says he knows Bigfoot is here in Ohio. I went into an old strip mine looking for badger dens, and on the way out, I got followed out, and lo and behold, on the side of the, the strip mine, there it was, and it stood up and looked at me. And he says he has proof they exist. <laughs> In a packed room at the Franklin Library, he played what he says are sounds from a real Bigfoot. And then he showed everyone this, a mold of a footprint that he says came from Bigfoot. Well, then all those little partial tracks there were. And that's just some of the evidence he's collected over the last 30 years that he's been investigating Bigfoot sightings. These two are definitely from Ohio. These have been considered legitimate Sasquatch tracks. They've been examined by, by different uh, scientists. He's a volunteer investigator with something called the BFRO, or the Bigfoot Fields Researchers Organization. He says he's investigated more than 300 reports of sightings from Ohio. Ohio alone. A lot of them were hoaxes, a lot of them were misidentifications, um, but there's at least a third that were. Bigfoot, and oh, he has the video to prove it. Finally, somebody. We're going to let you be the judge. <laughs> Take a look. This is the YouTube video. Can you see real closely there? Yeah, that's Bigfoot. It was supposedly shot near the intra... Did you say that's Bigfoot like yeah. you've seen him before? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I watched those Bigfoot shows. All right. And this was shot apparently near the Intracoastal Waterway earlier this month. Randy O'Neill says he captured the images with his cell phone while he was camping with his dad. He says he saw red eyes watching them from the woods. So he claims he fired a shotgun, heard something scream and go crashing through the trees. O'Neill says he and his father experienced a similar encounter some 25 years ago. Something's up here. He's moving. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Daisy, come here. Daisy, come here. I want to do a quick little video here. Me and Crazy Daisy has followed these tracks. This is the best one of them. I'm going to try to cast it and step on a limb. And it goes. Let's see. Here's one. Right here. Let's see. So another one. Right here. You can see a little bit where it's meshed. See the toes. There's toes. Two former rodeo men went into the woods with a 16 millimeter camera and stumbled on Bigfoot. When she's walking across a sandbar and spreads her arms out and looks at the camera, frame 352, that's become the Bigfoot icon for our culture.
The sighting of Patty, as she would later be known, at Bluff Creek in California is one of the most famous reels in film history. with my little eye bigfoot maybe we're zooming in to show you this is sasquatch sasquatch or something else the washington state department of transportation sharing these photos wednesday the department tweeted out if you look closely by the tree on the left there's something it could be bigfoot maybe not but they're leaving that decision up to you i mean what do you think 